Hey there folks, Morgan here from Simple Networks. Today I'm going to walk you through setting up VLANs in Unify, specifically with the new settings. On my last video discussing VLANs in Unify, some of you expressed in the comments that the new settings were kind of tripping you up, so hopefully this video will be helpful to you. Uh, we're going to go from start to finish just like we did in the last video, so from setting up the initial VLAN uh, to setting up switch profiles using those VLANs. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go down here into settings. And I'm going to try new settings. I prefer the old settings, and I would recommend most people still use the old settings. But I understand that some of you um, may want to kind of, you know, get ahead of the curve and learn the new settings. So, all right. So to add a VLAN, once again, VLANs in Unify are just called networks. So we'll go over here on the left hand to networks, and it's going to load up the networks we already have. As you can see, these are the networks or VLANs that I currently have active. But if you want to make a new one, you just click Add New Network. Then we're going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it Test Network. All right. Now here's where things kind of get tricky. As you can see, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of options here. And you have these two new pull down menus. Looks completely different from classic settings. So once we have our name, we're going to leave VPN settings alone. And we're just going to go to Advanced. And here's where we get some of our settings back. So to start, I'm going to give it a VLAN ID. I'm going to give it 12. Domain name, don't need to worry about that. And if you didn't do anything else, you might be confused because there's no way, at least apparent way, to set up you know, your default gateway for the VLAN or to set up your DHCP settings. So you have to make sure that you uncheck auto scale network. And then you'll see some of those classic settings start to reappear. So here's where we can enter our gateway. Luckily, it did it for us. I'm going to stick with 5.1 slash 24. And right here is where you can update your DHCP range. So I always give it 10 through the rest of the network. So I have some you know, leftover spaces, some extra spaces for static IPs. DHCP name server, we can leave the rest of this to auto. And if you know what you're doing here with these options, you can certainly check those. Uh, but for setting up a basic VLAN, this is really all you have to do. Just make sure that your gateway IP and subnet is correct. Remember that if you try and enter 5.0 here for the subnet, it's not going to like that. You have to enter the gateway IP. So 5.1 24. Um, once you do that, you're pretty much all set to go. We can hit apply changes. And as you can see, test network is showing up. Now, the next step is you actually want to use that VLAN, right? You want to push it through to your switches. Now, usually, <laughs> right along here, there would be an option called profiles. But of course, they had to hide it for some reason. So we're actually going to go into advanced features here on the left. And look at that right there is switch ports. So, you know, kind of ironically, it's almost a little easier in the new settings, even though it may seem more confusing at first, because we don't have to, uh, it's just right there on top. You don't have to dig for anything. So we'll go ahead and add a port profile. And I'm going to call this test profile. PoE, we're not going to leave that alone for now. And here is where you're going to select what networks you want as your native network, and or what VLAN, sorry, you want as your native network and what VLAN you want as your tag network. So let's say I want it to stay as corporate LAN for my native network. So devices that can't see VLANs or that aren't tagged will all go onto the native network. Then for our tag network, I want our test network, the new VLAN we just created. And we'll just go with that one for now. So we're gonna go ahead and apply these changes. So now under switch ports, there you go. We have our test profile, which native network is corporate LAN, but remember our tag network is the new VLAN we set up. So how do we apply this to the switch? Well, this is actually the same. This hasn't changed. So you're going to go ahead over to the very sidebar here, and you're going to go to devices. And now we're back to the good old Unify interface we know and love. This hasn't changed. So at this point, it's going to be the same as the last video, right? You're going to pick your switch. So in this case, I'm going to go with our main switch here. I'm just going to pick one of our unused ports uh, for demonstration here. So let's go with port number one, which is currently not in use. So we're going to go over here to ports on the top bar here. Port number one, I'm going to edit it. And here's where we can select our switch port profile. Again, just like in the last video. So we're going to go ahead and go with our custom test profile. We'll call it port one. And then in parentheses, test profile, so it's easy to see what we have set up on this. Click apply. 
it's going to provision, and then that's it. Simple as that. So really, this part hasn't changed. It's just getting used to how things look in the new settings over here. Uh, I'm not sure why they why they do it like this. Maybe their idea is that they're giving you the basic and simple stuff here, and then everything else under system settings. Personally, I like it better with all of it listed out, but hey, technology moves forward, and so must we. So hopefully that was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, leave them down in the below. If you have requests for other videos you want me to make, I will gladly take those requests. I love making videos and helping you guys out. Um, but that's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you found that helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.